guys welcome to my channel this morning I'm about to fix me some bread pudding and I'm going to take these hot dog buns and make my bread pudding I have some hot dog buns Eagles brand condensed milk carnation milk and some half and half, vanilla flavor, sugar, eggs, and some butter. I'm about to take this pan and I'm going to cut up, break up my hot dog buns to see how much bread I'm going to need for this, to fill this pan. All right, here we go. All right, now that I'm breaking up my... Hot dog buns, I'm going to put them in the pan, and I'm going to get them wet. Put them in this, um, all right, I have my buns in the bowl that I'm going to mix it up with, and I'm going to take some evaporated milk and put in my six eggs. About a cup of evaporated milk. And I'm going to mix my eggs real good. I'm going to add me a little cinnamon in here with my eggs. About a tablespoon. And about a tablespoon of vanilla flavor. And once I mix this, I'm going to put it into my bread. In the pan with my bread. I'm going to pour this into the bowl, and I'm going to let this sit, and let that get wet. I'm also going to add my half and half cream, because I want this to get really, really wet. And I'm going to add uh, about another cup of milk I want this to get wet 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 and while I'm at it I'm gonna add my sugar I'm gonna put about a cup and a half of sugar Along with my six eggs I put in, and I'm going to melt my butter, melt a stick of butter while this is getting wet, soaking a little bit. Let me add my sugar. All right, I have my mixture, my hot dog buns getting moist with some sugar evaporated milk, half and half cream, and regular milk with my six eggs. And I'm going to add me a little brown sugar, about a half a cup. And I want to say I put about 12 hot dog buns in here. All right, I'm going to put me a little bit more cinnamon. And I'm going to add my melted butter. I'm going to let this sit another five minutes so that milk and sugar and butter can absorb in that in the hot dog buns. All 
All right, I'm going to add a half a can of crushed pineapples to my bread pudding. I wouldn't normally do this, but I had some crushed pineapples left over from my cake the other day. And I don't want it to go to waste. And it's not going to hurt this. Some people put uh, raisins and different kinds of fruit in the bread pudding, but I'm not going to do raisins. I don't care for raisins. So I'm going to add the pineapples, crushed pineapples, and we'll see what we come up with. All right, I'm about to grease my pan and put it in the oven. All right, now that I've let it sit for about five minutes and I've greased my baking pan, I'm about to add my bread pudding mixture to the pan. And that turned out perfect because I put my buns in here first to see how many I was going to need to fill this pan. And this is going to rise a little. I hear my oven is preheating, and I'm about to throw this into the oven. I was debating whether I was going to add my condensed milk. So I put a fourth of a can of condensed milk in here before I put it into the oven. All right, we shall see what we have. All right, into the oven we go for 45 minutes. Right, and here's our end result of our bread pudding, and it looks fantastic. All right, here we go. Get our little taste tester. Okay, guys, here's our little taste testers. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Now we're going to try this bread pudding. Bread pudding, which I don't even know what it tastes like, so it's a surprise. I guess I'll try it. Go ahead, Layla. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's the best. All right. It's all right? Okay, good job, guys. I got the bun in the, um, in the part inside of the bread pudding. It tastes like, um, um. Like a little bit like cake? No, cinnamon. Oh. Yeah, that, when you get like a cinnamon. Mm-hmm. A cinnamon roll. Yeah, true. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye. Thank you, guys.